as American Jews, we have so many traditions to draw from, American traditions, Jewish traditions within the Jewish world. There are myriad traditions alone, whether it's uh, Mizrahi or Sephardic or Ashkenazi or Temani, they're all different kinds of Jews. And of course, within those Jewish communities, there are traditions, there are texts, there are ways of doing things. And the same is true in the United States. Obviously, where you live uh, impacts the way that you do things. And this week that approaches Thanksgiving gives us an opportunity to incorporate different pieces of our identity in order to show gratitude. So a lot of us come from an American tradition where you sit with friends and family, whoever you are having Thanksgiving with, and you go around the table and everybody says something that they're grateful for. And Sometimes that means you hear one thing that you're grateful for, and sometimes that means that there are 50 different things that people are grateful for, and that is um, amazing and a moment to pause and really pay attention to what is good and full of blessing in our lives. And there is a Jewish tradition uh, that also invites us to, to praise, to show gratitude, to pay attention to the world around us. So back in the Talmud from uh, Tractate Menachot, from four, page 43b, there is um, this beautiful perspective. And I'm going to read the, the, the Hebrew, and then I'm going to translate. We're going to figure out what's going on a little bit. So this is 43b, this is uh, verse 15, and it says, Tanya, haya rabbi meir omer, chayav adam levarech mea brachot bechol yom sheneemar, ve'ata Yisrael ma Adonai elohecha sho'el, and I want to make sure that I get this right, this last word right, and it is me'imach, me'imach, okay. So what this means is it's taught in a Baraita, so a contemporaneous text to the Mishnah, which the Gemara um, the, is going to be a commentary on. So, so the Talmud is looking back at these other texts. So there's a text that Rabbi Meir is looking at. Incidentally, Rabbi Meir is one of my favorite favorite scholars in the Talmud. He is sometimes referred to as a pilpil harif. He is a hot pepper of a scholar. He's, he's very, he can cut through things. He thinks in new and spicy ways. And he would say, a person is obligated to recite 100 blessings every day, as it is stated in the verse of the proof text, which is from Deuteronomy 10, 12. And now Israel what ma does Adonai your God require from you? And instead of reading the word ma, he reads it mea. There is a pun there. And so he reads, and now Israel, a hundred does Adonai your God require of you. So what's being said here then is that God requires us to observe the world, to pay attention and to see what is good, and not only that, but to bless it, right? So that when we interact with the world, we are constantly, constantly blessing and thanking and finding ourselves in awe and in gratitude of what's going on around us. Now, hopefully, on a day like Thanksgiving, we have the opportunity to do just that, and what this uh, Talmudic text is telling us is that we have this opportunity every day. And if you're a traditional Jew or if you're a very observant, uh, progressive Jew, then you're reciting prayers throughout the day. You're reciting blessings throughout the day. And yes, that constitutes some of that gratitude, some of that blessing. And it doesn't have to just be that. It can be our own spontaneous moments of how grateful I am that the sun is shining today, how grateful I am that you are a part of my life, how grateful I am, and to continue to, to put ourselves in a space of joyfulness, of gratitude, of constant awe and appreciation, and what a wonderful way that is to go through life.